let's just get started. I don't remember why I came into this room. I think I'm all done in here. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Nah, I'm good, dog. Is needed. Please Whoa, careful. Flammable. Engineer. Don't hit that. What does our journal say we need to do right now? <clears throat> Objectives, that's what I'm trying to look at. Office with a view. Access the video file. The Talos lobby. Objective is here. I am uh, not on this level, apparently. I'm on level two. So I need to go up a level. There's apparently an objective up there as well. Yeah, me too. Very much digging it. Oh, all right, all right. Let's go scare the shit out of ourselves. <clears throat> I do need to go up a level. <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me, sorry. I need to clear my throat rather, rather, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Forcefully. <coughs> excuse me. That's better. Okay, turret there, that's good. Bianca Goodwin, good guest. Good morning, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete guest and volunteer liaison. During their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Dr. Sylvain Bellamy, Neuromod Division Director. Why is his name not lit up? Because the power went out to it, I guess. Hello, friendly turret. Hmm. Let me just eat it. Well, I'm assuming if any of these guys are mimics, the, uh, I was going to say, yeah, wouldn't the turret get it right away? Looks like it did. The code to your office is 0451. Hmm, thank you. I don't have a pistol or a shotgun yet. I found pistol and shotgun rounds. Zero four five one. This is my office. Jason Chang, personal assistant. Hmm. Dear Jason, let's see what's on your computer. No password found. Shit. What does this say? OMG, <laughs> hot boss. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> Whoops, sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> key code changed. Jason, maintenance screwed the keypad to my office. Had them set it to 0451. I'll be in Sims Lab a while, so if you need anything, help yourself. Then why did January tell me what it was if I was going to find it there? Beep, beep, boop. Hmm. Friendly turret, you're coming with me. Just gonna put this uh, right here. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Three years. My fucking office! Trash it! Ah, so it can detect alien material, huh? Wonder how accurate that is. Uh, 
Ah. Hmm. This allows me to get around a bit, doesn't it? This is a nice freaking office. Not taking any chances. School of Science. Doctor of Science. Control panel. Hmm. Oh, inventory overflow. Uh, you know what? Here, just uh, eat it. Oh, my health can go above 100. I think I took a thing that allowed me to do that. Glue cannon ammo fabrication plan. Nice. Weapon upgrade kit. Inventory full. All right, we gotta work on our inventory here. That as well. If I move this there, do I have room for uh, this? Upgrading weapons. This can be used to upgrade weapons. Great. Got it. Okay. T, please. Weapon kits allow you to upgrade your weapons. To use a weapon kit, select a weapon you wish to upgrade in your inventory and press R. Then choose upgrade to select from any available upgrades. Note some upgrades require advanced skills. Okay. What do I? I think I already forgot how to do that. <laughs> Upgrade. Uh, incapacitation rate. 100 to 120. Handling. What is handling? Increased movement speed while firing. Okay. 33 to 45. Range 9 to 12. Hmm. Okay, what about this? Whoops. Duration of stun effect amplifies damage to robotic targets. Increase range. Increase shots between reloads. Increase recharge rate and decreases drain rate. Can I upgrade this? Hmm. Let's do that one. Okay. Ooh, a narrow mod. Three of them, I think. Um. Yeah, we have three. Oh, so what did I take already? I took conditioning. I took repair, because I'll need to repair weapons. And I took hacking. So there's physician. That's available. Leverage. Materials. Reduce stamina cost of wrench attacks by 25.
Hmm. Increase your health to 150. Natural lifespan increased by 25 years. Hey, all right. Wish you could do that in real life. That'd be great. Maybe I'll just save him for now and we'll see if a need develops. Teleconferencing. Oh boy, we can teleconference now. That's good news. Good morning, Morgan. I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe, Jason. Did I, I already grab that, huh? Was that the weapon modification, weapon upgrade? Oops. Okay, we don't want to read that. Too far, too fast. One. First excerpt from commercialization of the space program. J.V. Edwards, Ph.D. In Kennedy's second term. Stab myself in the eye. Yeah, it's, it's, they're offsetting. You're running as fast as you can to stay in the same place. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and without his support may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of... Yeah, without his support may have sputtered completely. Hmm, okay. Speaking of uh, real life there, a succession of mood launches heralded the coming of an accelerated energetic space program, both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast, contrast to Kennedy's first term, rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seem to be reaching out to space together. Seems like nothing bad came of that. So what am I what do I get for recycling stuff? Let's wait on that. Place items in bin. Just checking. Corroded coil. Burnt circuit board, frayed wire. Wrench fabrication. I can make myself a new wrench? What? Ugh. Alright, hang on. Morgan Sweet. Med kit. Um, take. Operator dispenser. So this is like in the med area. I can make my own operator thingy with this. Ah. Create weapons, ammo, and other useful items. Okay. Hmm. Let's figure out how this works then. So I want to recycle um, all this shit. The tracking bracelet? No, not yet. Petri dish samples? Sure. Burns. Wait a minute. What does it mean that it's gray? Does gray mean I shouldn't be recycling that stuff? Should I only be recycling stuff that's green? I think green means consumable. Hopefully we can do all this at once. by the fabricator. Wait a minute. Maybe I don't want to do that one. Gray stuffs are useless. Hello, Jaza. How are you? Okay. Oh, nope. Nope. nope, nope, nope. Backspace. Uh, so that put a whole bunch of stuff in there, right? 
Recycle. Results. Organic. Whatever. 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 Ah. Okay, so I recycle it, then I can turn it into stuff that I can use over here, presumably. Heavy twist and loop handle industrial wrench, a flexible and indispensable tool for various engineering jobs, also an effective improvised bludgeon. Why do I need another wrench? Med kits. Psy hypos. Let's try a med kit first. Nice. Yeah, no kidding. This is pretty terrific. Oh, operator dispenser, but I don't have an operator creator thing like we had back at the um, med lab. Huh. wonder how I do that. Okay, well, let's just create as many of these as we can. Med kits, I mean. Alright. Handy dandy. What does the journal say now? Let's find out. Um, access the video files. What? Thought I did that. Wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Melanie's corpse in the trauma center. Wasn't I just in the trauma center? Did I not check this already? I thought I checked this. No, I didn't. Okay. Watch me, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. I think I'm alone now. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> Why is it getting dark in here? Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need Damn to know it. is you can trust January. Whoops! It's an operator. <laughs> Fuck! A sort of backup of you and me. <laughs> it knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, oh. mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is... When you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment <laughs> with you first the put it in. <laughs> That's why you forget. Okay. There's supposed to be a process that brings five you one five to speed oh. between test runs, but someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. Damn the it! Question is, <laughs> walk why? through it. You're not going to like what I have to say next. What do you have to say next? The fuck does that mean? Why was the connection lost? I thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Is he talking to me? Fuck, I fucking broke the glass. Sorry, Morgan. 
Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Okay. Let's check these really quick. You made it! EOM. I still don't know what happened. I've put it behind me, but there's no reason we can't be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together, Mika. Do not disturb from Jason Chang. Morgan, as requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite in crew quarters, and the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Late, like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office, Jason. Oh, Jason, you're probably dead. You're the wizard, Morgan. Well, shit. What's my next objective? Dr. Calvino's workshop. In the hardware labs? Hmm. Okay, well, before we go there... Brother, make a good Mr. Dursley? Yeah, a bit. You know, I looked it up because uh, I didn't know who it was. It's uh, Benedict Wong. Plays uh, Alex Morgan. His voice is very distinctive. I, I thought that maybe I recognized it, but I couldn't place it. Don't hit those things. No matching key card. Doesn't say what this room is. Do you think the explosive canister would blow the door? Cushion 2.0. Yeah, let's let's just do it. We know how we know where to um, cure our concussions now, so we don't need to fear them. I'm trying to see if there's. Some way up there that we could get around that door, but I don't think so. Alright, you'll have to forgive me. I'm checking the journal because there's so many places I could go. Crew quarters. <sighs> Trauma Center. I checked everything in the Trauma Center. He's got to be in one of those doors that was locked, which means I can't get into it right now. There was a key card that I picked up. Oh, I haven't even seen this yet. There's a bridge. That'd be cool. Hmm. Just bringing him with me. Never know. Oh, right. Anything in there, buddy? Anything? Yeah! Help! It's behind us! Where did he come from? A lot of help you are. What an ugly little office. Consciousness. 
The Fire in the Equations. Excerpt from Chapter 1, Consciousness, The Fire in the Equations, by Dr. Stuart Penrose. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons? Or is it a fundamental uh, and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Mmm. I don't know about y'all, but I'm of the feeling that consciousness is probably an illusion. That's just me. Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes, such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell, paved the way for eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Hmm. Comfy-looking chair. Could betray me at any moment. Whose degree is this? There's no name there. Molecular science. Oh, it's Bellamy! Right. I didn't even notice that his... I forgot about this. Because his light uh, on his door wasn't on. Perception of stimuli. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's weird to talk about because people have different different definitions for different words. Before you start talking about it, you have to agree on terms. You have to agree on what's sentience, what's awareness, what's consciousness, what's, uh, what's, what's purpose, what's intent, what's will. Sylvain from Morgan. I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that know that I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always make a move back after we celebrate our success. Hmm. I wonder if uh, this, this, this is why maybe his office is half-assed. Staff, please remove, the, remove these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromon Division as soon as feasible. Yes. Okay, so this is his original office. He left it. No, I was not a debate club person. I've just gotten in lots of conversations about these types of things, and I know that it doesn't make much sense to even try to talk to somebody about it, unless... Whoops. Uh, unless... You already all agree on what the hell you're talking about, because you just go in circles. It's really aggravating, like, in a conversation with about religion, for example. Uh, it's really aggravating when the person on one side of the argument and the person on the other side of the argument, they're not talking about the same things at all, even though you're using the same words. It just doesn't make any sense. <gasps> Trauma Center. Maybe we can find Sylvain Bellamy's um, body now. Wow, that's an impressive piece of artwork. Can't break that, okay. Bianca Goodwin. I just want to take that in for a second. Transstar facilities on Earth, I presume? Like one time, my wife and I, this was over a decade ago now, back when we first started dating, but when my, my wife and I were still getting to know each other, she is, uh, I wouldn't say devout, but she at the time was a practicing Christian, and I being a non-believer, uh, we got into an argument over religion, and we were, the, the main problem of the argument was that we were using different definitions of believe, and I was trying to clarify to her the difference between belief and know, and she, like, believing and knowing, belief and knowledge, and she wasn't, uh, we weren't on the same page, so it was just, we were going around in circles, and finally I was like, wait a minute, wait, 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 what do you mean by believe? She was like, I mean this, I was like, no, that's, <laughs> I mean that. It would have saved us probably like an hour of arguing if we would have sorted it out at first. Uh, let's see. Volunteer attitude. This is Bianca Goodwin's. We don't... What was her role? Guest and volunteer liaison. Just chill out, man. I'm going to call him... What should his name be? That little... 
turret. He needs a name. I'm going to need more support, says John Haskins. The volunteers are agitated, more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to... Oh, Eleven, meaning a, an actual person. I thought Eleven volunteers threatened to bash his head in. Like, well, dude, that's... You gotta tamping that down. <laughs> if Eleven of them were threatening to kill you. Didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 8432, not the old number on my file. On file. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Security Officer John Haskins. In the volunteer area, huh? Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage okay. everyone experiencing symptoms Meeting of Gustav sleep, chronic from stress, or anxiety Igwe to, to Bianca Goodwin. An appointment in the okay, thank center. you. Bianca originally wrote, Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous requests, and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. Schedule for the visit is tight. May not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca. Oops. Damn it. Uh, Igwe originally wrote, Miss Goodman, to follow up on a previous request I, was, request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure, if possible. Re-re Lightner's visit. Uh, from Helen Croft. Yeah, Igwe showed up, but quiet and polite. He shook Lightner's hand like he was uh, afraid of breaking him. Asked him to sign an album he brought. <laughs> Lightner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hadn't... Stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. Wanted to get scanned. Personal assault liaison. Um. Whoops. Is. Is Transtar putting people's brains on computers? Talk about getting scanned. Pal. Pal 1, personal assault liaison. All right, I like it. Pal 1, you're coming with me. Well, I can get into the... Into the teleconferencing center now. Whoa. <laughs> oh! Oh! Now you're going to show me this? What the hell? Basics. Take advantage of your environment and tools in combat. You do not have to fight every enemy head-on. Use alternate routes to sneak past tough enemies, or to get the drop on them. If you intend to fight, disabling enemies first with tools like the glue cannon can increase your odds of surviving. What the hell? That's not encouraging. Pal-1 emotes in an Ixatronek. Yeah, some rouge. Whoa. Turret! Turret! Pal! Here. Uh, deploy! Deploy! He starts shooting right away. Good. Phew! Is they the chairs? Wait, what was the error? I didn't hear. Come on in, pal. Whoops. Shit. Can you detect it when it's disguised? No. Yes. There we go. Well, okay. I don't know if he shot it and then it moved or if it moved and then he shot it. Actuators, nominal. Elias Black. He didn't get, uh, didn't get sucked dry. Nine millimeter bullets. Silenced pistol ammo fabrication plant. Oh, oh. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, yep. you got it? Oh, pal one, you're the best. Moved first, okay. Hmm. Got eight rounds loaded, 50 rounds uh, in 
in the uh, in the belt, I suppose. What's on it? Eradicator! Eradicator. <sighs> Just being careful, you guys know this, I'm careful. Pal already and I would die for him. That's why we like having you in the stream, Max. Alright, what else we got here? What's with all the explosives they leave around? Grief. Hmm. This is out into the main lobby. What am I supposed to do here? Dr. Calvino's workshop. Okay. Maybe this is just a way through to there. Pal! Come with me. Soft baby looking for inanimate objects to love. We all know that feeling. Hardware labs. I've been in here? No. But I see all the glue. And something went on in here. People still smoke here in the future? There's lots of ashtrays. Yeah, they, they do. Look, there's cigarettes. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not fucked up, man. Everybody loves inanimate objects that get anthropomorphized, especially when they can talk. It's super cute. Yeah, I'll say you need an attitude adjustment. Too much snark. These little audio stings are just, they're just aesthetic aspects. These little audio stings are messing me up, man. It was just from me, I guess, walking into the... I can shoot flexi bolts. I can shoot nerf bolts. Nerf darts. I guess it was just from me walking into the room? I don't know. But it's making me like, whoa, whoa, okay. Gotta check it out. What's happening? Damn ashtray. Ah. If somebody else is alive in this place and they're like following me, or like they come into a room that I've been in, they're like, my god, these Typhons just smashed everything up. <laughs> Why did they do this? What do they have against our ashtrays and light fixtures? Monsters. That's cool. Physics there. Do I dare break this shit open? You think there's something in there? Hmm. Hang on. Let's try a little of this. What happens if I right click? Nothing. Um, is there a way to zoom? That's it, huh? It's a weird sound.
All right, screw it. Let's just break this shit open. Anything in there? No. <laughs> they were ruthless. Monsters. We, if only we had known, we could have shut this down from the beginning. They'll never appreciate our Art Deco style. Okay, I just saved it, but I'm saving it again. All right, hang on, pal. Oh, this is how we actually leave the area. I don't want to leave the area yet. I'm still exploring the whole damn lobby. It's a big place. Wish you could name the turrets, like give them actual little monikers. Oops. Uh, sorry there, bud. Just so that you knew, like which one was which. Because if I come, if I leave this guy behind, I can't take him into one of the one of the other cells. I bet. When I leave this guy behind. I want to come back and remember who is who. What's hmm? in the trash can? Lemon peel. Yeah. Can't turn into church pews, can they? The mimics. Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Yeah, I'd probably get pretty sad if one got destroyed too. You're right. Which they will. Haven't been in there yet. Okay, pal. Come with me. Sales division. Right. These are the guys who should have probably remained on Earth. But for some reason... Transstar paid to bring them all the way up here. Drink it. Oh, holy fucking shit. Yuri! Yuri, I have to kill you. Ow. Shit, that hurt. Huh. That really throws him off the edge in his face or in an explosion. Oh. That'll probably happen. Hmm. Oh no! Oh, if only I could repair. I need repair level two. Wait, how many neuromods do I have? This is actually probably bad if I'm using my neuromods to repair. Oh, I need one more. If I'm, if I'm, it's probably a bad idea to be sentimental about use of neuromods and intentionally use one to repair my poor busted turret here. Oh, pal. Oh, 15 in the clip. Okay, never mind. <sighs> Maybe he can be salvaged. We will never forget. The Space Elevator! Excerpt from article, Stairways to Heaven, by Dr. Angelina M. Allen. Not that thing I'm fucked. I know! Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, the White Stork Tower, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities and commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch up. The World Union of Space Industry, WUSI, has calculated that using the Stork facility to aid in construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, U.S. officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risk for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. Hmm. In the meantime, Wusi has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators. Essentially, space-age squatting. Interesting. Uh, the Kim Stanley Robinson book uh, Red Mars. Is Red Mars, Green Mars, and Blue Mars, I think? That's the order? I've read Red and Green. I have not read Blue yet. But in Green Mars... Um, 
Wow, look at that thing roll. I'm always impressed with the physics in Dishonored games, too. Things don't, like, jump around like crazy, like in, uh, say, Elder Scrolls games. Um, anyway, in Red Mars, they build a space elevator that connected to Phobos, I think? Deimos? One of the two moons. I think Phobos. And uh, some terrorists by the end of the novel. Spoiler! Terrorists by the end of the novel have basically have exploded the moon, or severed the connection with the moon, so that the cable... Oh, thank you very much, Walter! Subscribed for three consecutive months. Oh, three months on a one-month streak. Thank you. I appreciate the sub. The sub. That's very uh, kind of you. Uh, anyway, they severed the connection, and the cable that was the space elevator, which of course was like as big around as a, a city. Uh, not in a city. I don't forget how big it was, but it was it was big. Anyway, it ends up falling onto Mars and basically like wraps around the equator of the planet like twice, and falls at like a ridiculously high speed. So it's basically like the entire planet is hit with a meteor repeatedly <laughs> around its entire equator. Just fucks the whole place up. Richard Coverney. Neuromod sales. Oh, wait, I didn't read um, this thing. Transstar Life. Employee profile. Excerpt from quarterly employee newsletter, Transstar Life. In this edition of Transstar Life's Rising Star segment, we profile Harley Granger, the baseball lady member of the Neuromod sales team who is currently stationed aboard Talos 1. Some of you might recognize Harley's name from his professional, oh, his, sorry, his professional baseball days when he played second base and wore number 66 for the Tornadoes, presumably the Oklahoma City Tornadoes. Harley was assigned to Talos 1 two years ago and has made the journey into orbit and back over 50 times. Not bad for someone who is afraid of flying. My time playing baseball forced me to deal with that fear, he said. Believe it or not, a shuttle flight to Talos is far easier than a cross-country airliner trip. I don't believe it. Harley. General access. It doesn't tell me where that goes. Yuri Kimura. Yuri sounds like a Russian name. Kimura sounds like a Japanese or Korean name. Whoa! Fuck. Ow! Damn it. Show yourself! Ow! <laughs> you little guy, you're cute, but you're deadly. Oh, where does... There it is. Where's your guts? Necropsy required. Hmm, hang on. Better uh, eat a snack here. Uh. Okay, good enough. Kelly Randolph, Neuromod Install Tech. Hmm. Is there more? Oh, two. Oh, right, that's the exterior of the station. Don't want to bust that open. Huntress Bolt Caster? <laughs> yeah. The Huntress Boltcaster launches foam dart. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking it was an actual crossbow. It's a nerf gun, which do zero damage. Also known for its ability to annoy coworkers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. Ah, use mouse one to fire your toy gun and R to reload. Hmm, okay. Neuromod application instructions. I think I've read this. Yeah. Nope, I don't want that thing. Give me my Gordon Freeman wrench. Hmm. 
employer. Employer? What the hell is a employer? Whoa! It's <laughs> a hell of a hit, Morgan. You disintegrated that thing. Cool. This is very cool. Sales folder. Excerpt from a Transstar Sales and Marketing Internal Memo by Peter Laney. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I gathered, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? It's just a little pinprick. Uh, I mean, it looks scary, but I think if we can get adver advertising to push some of the more appealing pros of NMs, we can shift public attention from that. I'm not too worried about the red eye stuff either. I don't think any one person in the public sector is going to ma manage to get their hands on that many NMs at one time. Not at these prices. Hi, Galactic Empire of Gaming. You, <laughs> you're Aris? Okay. Welcome, Aris. Should I just call you? What should I call you now? I'll call you Galactic. Sounds very Beastie Boys. Uh, Aris is fine. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Uh, what I find more, far more worrying, though, are these reports of memory loss during NM removal. I mean, amnesia? Seriously? We can rewire a person's brain, give them any skill we want, but we can't avoid resetting their head back to the moment they got that shit installed if we decide to take it out? What are we, a soap opera? If this leaks, it'll kill NM sales. Doesn't matter if you need specialized equipment and training to take one out. No one wants to risk using, losing years of their life just for the ability to speak French. This can't even go in the fine print. As far as the customer is concerned, NMs are permanent. Ah, Paris. Yuri, what do you got? Exports. You can't ship at home. It's already been noticed. One monthly pay makes it go away. One month pay makes it go away. Elias was the dead body in the teleconference room. Can't ship at home. It's already been noticed. One month pay makes it go away. Sounds like they were doing something illicit. Ooh, four neuromods. <sighs> should I do it? I feel like I should do it. I feel like I should heal up uh, Pal. Damn it. This is me being... <clears throat> this is me being silly. It would be a waste if I really need something else instead. But I have a I have a soft spot in my heart for Pal. We named him, damn it. Oh, that would be a good one to have. We're going to do it. <laughs> For a second I read that as material sexpert. <laughs> Increase recycling yield by 20%. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Uh, enter. Down to zero neuromods, but that's okay. That tyranny, huh? What tyranny? All right, pal. I think we got you. He's back, baby. Yes! Ooh, sunlight. Well, where else uh, can we go? In the lobby, we've got a lot of places we haven't seen. Hang on, pal. We came down there. We've been on that level. Pal! He's back! Yep, it's a game changer, alright. No need for a PAL-2. Eh, we'll need a PAL-2 at some point. We may have to give them completely different names. I'll confuse them if it's PAL-1 and PAL-2. Of course, I'll probably confuse them no matter what. Um, there's not another level above this one that I can access? Doesn't look like it. Oh, 
Oh, I know. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying I know where we're, we're going. Yeah, so this is Eli Elias Black? Elias Black. That's the dude that was in the um, email. Anyway, so that walkway over there, that right there, that catwalk, uh, I think is from the back side of that room we were just in, the sales room, and goes over to whatever the hell is over there. The other end of my office? Something beyond my office? VP and Director of Research. Man, why would you ever volunteer yourself to get your mind wiped if you're that important to the company? It's a very cool game. Very cool looking. Trauma Center Staff Lounge Hardware Labs. Hardware Labs, right. Okay, that's where I need to go to do the next part of the main quest. Um... Trauma Center. We're going to go back in here. We're going to go back in here. You know what, pal? I'm going to leave you right there, dude. I'm going to go back in here and try to find Sylvain Bellamy. No matching key card. I thought I got... Maybe I only got the key card that lets me into the main... Ugh. Yeah, you starve me, dude. Let's be into the main space. System alert. Repair is needed. Damn. Oh, maybe I can repair this guy Good now. Good morning, Talos. All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor. Thank you. You're welcome. Bud 1, Battle Unit Defender. Okay, yeah, 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 that's good. I like that. Let's go with that. So the next one will be Bud. Pal, bud. I'm sure Sylvain Bellamy is in one of those rooms. I think I can blow the door apart? Probably not. Through a baseball glove in the trash. Didn't notice this stuff before. Oh. Can't get past the blinds? Damn. Ugh. So close. Almost get in there. Ally. <laughs> or alley. <laughs> no, ally. Yeah, yeah, ally. That's good. This is all very good. Do not take him to the... Oh. Attention all security officers in trauma. You have multiple people en route with injuries, as well as a possible fatality. One of them is Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. Do not take him to the trauma center. He must be taken to psychotronics. This is an extremely grave security and health issue. I repeat, do not admit Dr. Sylvain Bellamy to the trauma center. Take him to psychotronics immediately. I did not check this, I guess, when I was here previously. Oh, Publicans here, and has subscribed now for 31 months. Very well, thank you, thank you so much, Publican. That's awesome. You are the man. Oh, Hardware Labs. I'm going to be going there next. You can look for Mary or Salmon.
Okay. Let's go with that for now. Um, all right, so he's not here. He's in, I've already forgotten where he is. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Psychotronics. Where the hell is Psychotronics? And I don't have a map of that area. All right. Um, hardware Labs next, I guess. I, if we've truly seen the whole... Manual override. Oh, we can actually lock the door. Okay, that's handy. Come on, pal. Wait, hang on a second. I guess I probably can't shoot through that, can I? I'm trying to think if there's any place else I haven't been yet. through there. Uh, ooh, can I repair this little dude? He doesn't need to be repaired, apparently. He looks a little worse for wear, but he seems to be okay. What about the guy that was... this guy? I didn't notice he was... he's frozen in mid-reach. That guy's okay, too. Shuttle Bay. Have I been over there yet? I don't know what the fuck's happening there. Okay, pal, I'm going to bring you with me, and we're going to go check this side really quick. Wait, first let's... Did I go through security? Can't get in here, right? Okay, pal, come with me. We're gonna go this way. Chum. <laughs> this is good. I like this. this is, I'm very impressed. Combat Hive Unit Minion. <laughs> IT security, human resources, sales division. We've been to sales. We've been, we haven't been in employee orientation. Did we go in whatever the hell this is? Psychotronics, no. We haven't been in psychotronics yet, which is where Sylvain Bellamy's body will be. We're able to get in there. Shoot it! Shoot it, pal! Thank you. What? 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank goodness pal's here. Loyal. <laughs> Learning observer of you and lethal. That's good. I like it. For fuck's sake, man. How many of you are there? That one had bullets for some reason. He knocked over Pal! I think. Did he knock over Pal? Oh, Pal! Just, just sit right there, buddy. Yep, we'll stick with it. So we've got, uh, we've already got Pal. We have Bud, Ally, Mate, Macho, Alternative to Enemy Engagement. <laughs> uh... Chum loyal. Gotta remember all this. Neuro mods and compensation. Trans star employees who perform at exemplary levels are also eligible to receive neuro mods. Hmm. only. Hmm. Thank you. Oh shit, something went down in the women's bathroom. Come on, pal. Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. There's a reason that's glued close. Yeah. Toilet paper rolls. They could be anywhere. What were you guys? What were you? Ow. Damn it. Oh, don't do that standing up thing. That's creepy. What were they disguised as? She <laughs> Yeah, that's true. She did. Were they toilet paper rolls and I just missed them? Hmm. Space elevator. Already read it. Well, shit. What do you think? We got it. We probably got to go in there and check it out, huh? you right here, friend. Pal. Damn it. Let's just bring you in just in case. Oh, I have another glue can. Oh, okay, I see. I don't need them. Let 
Martin Giroux. Hmm. Well, what do you think? I think there's something in this door? Pal? What do you think? So why was this place... Locked down? All just a misdirection? Um, oh yeah, he had the glue gun, didn't he? He just tried to seal himself inside. Which means that they can get into rooms that otherwise seem inaccessible? No. He doesn't actually, he didn't get sucked dry. What killed him? That's probably, yeah, probably that's. But I'm just wondering what, did he commit suicide? Why see yourself in here if you're just going to commit suicide? That's not the kind of pose you make when you commit suicide. Oh. And then maybe the mimic escaped? Hmm. Weird. Okay, I don't think I can get into psychotronics or whatever the hell it's called. Let's go up here and see what we can do. Know this one. Don't know the IT security code. Sales vision where I've been and maintenance, which I apparently cannot get into. Okay, I'm going to say maybe now I've seen everything I can currently see. I've been through teleconferencing, I've been through the exec offices, I've been to my office. Sales division, been through there. Came out of the Neuromod division, I could not get into human resources, I've been through the trauma center. Can't get into the staff lounge currently. I can't get into security. Can't get into other security. Seen the exhibit. Main lift. I didn't even notice there was a lift there. Can't get into psychotronics. Life support and psychotronics have a lower level, which I've also not been into. All right, hang on. Let me go look at the main lift. Piece of debris out there. Huh. So lift is on the other side of the desk there. Hmm. Just in case. Malfunction. Getting around is going to be a problem. The main lift is broken. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround. 
the hell's with the glass? That's weird. Okay, I guess there's no place else to go then, but up to, wow, look at the moon. Up to the hardware area. Oh yeah, look at all the floating debris out there. Whatever got blown out earlier. What do you think, pal? Crazy, right? Hey, wow, the moon's rotating. Which I, it does, I know that it does, but I'm trying to think how we must be, what kind of orbit we must be in. No, we're orbiting around the moon, right? Is that correct? I think that's correct. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I thought it was a little weird that all the corpses had names. Um, but I, I like that they do. Makes it a little bit more, yeah, a little more meaningful, I suppose. I think it helps because when you are going through the rest of the game and you're reading emails and reading notes hello. and stuff, and it's mentioning, hello, it's mentioning people that you encounter, then you encounter their body somewhere, or you find something else of theirs. Um, makes things a little bit more impactful. Hardware Labs, that's where we're headed, pal. I don't know if I can take you with me. Aw, you orbit around me. Yeah, character we're known. I apparently am something of a hotshot. VP and all that. I don't think I can take you. Aww. All right, pal, you're going to wait here and guard my return. Thanks, buddy. Means a lot to have you with me. Okay. Fucking scary is this going to be? <laughs> Are you sure? We'll meet again. Don't know how, where. <laughs> Don't know when. But I'm sure we'll meet again some sunny day. Yeah, I'm, I look forward to it, too. This is lots of fun. Uh, Tan. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh. Found, you. Found me? The fuck is your problem? Ow. Hey. Combat, sneak attacks. Press C to sneak if you wish to avoid direct confrontation. Oh. Q beam cells. Hmm. Give me a hint, I should be. Oh, hey, thanks, Max. I appreciate it. No disrespect. I'm sure they would not take offense. Well, I hope they wouldn't take offense. No one can be everyone's favorite, or everybody can't everybody can't be one person's favorite. Hmm. Wish I had Pal with me. Oh, hold F to pick up multiple items. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. hell? Ugh, more outgassing. I know what that problem feels like. 
Too far, too fast, too. Too fast, too far. Starring Vin Diesel, Paul Walker. Ludicrous. Whoever the hell else is in those movies, I don't even know. Second excerpt. excerpt. And Johnson's team uh, term came to an end, paving the way for President Reagan. Oh, fuck. It's alternate history. Reagan still became president. Jesus Christ, man. So the 80s sucked no matter what. <laughs> Even then, the space race was showing signs of faltering, the eager push from previous decades being dulled by the lack of advancement that space had seemed to promise. That's f wait, wait, wait. So uh, Kennedy had two terms. I presume that he didn't serve more than that, given that there was a constitutional amendment. Or on drugs, but in space. Um, so Kennedy to served two terms. He would have, uh, what? He would have been done in 68. Uh, Johnson would have served 69 to... Well, I'm assuming, jo I'm assuming Johnson is LBJ. So then... Uh, LBJ would have served two terms, perhaps, that would go space balls with Soviets. Um, I need to watch space balls again. It's been a while. Uh, 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 what am I thinking? Okay, so yeah, Johnson, uh, sixty what not sixty eight to seventy two, and then if he served two terms, that would have been seventy six. So what? Then Reagan became president. There was no. Uh, the, he became president in what we would call Carter's first term. Yeah, maybe no Nixon. I don't know. No Nixon, no Carter, perhaps. Soviet Union had already suffered economic collapse through similar... No Ford. Hey, you're not missing anything there. <laughs> wow, imagine what the world would be like if Nixon had never been president. Like, imagine what the country would be like. No Watergate? My gosh. Think of the think of the, the faith we would still have in our institutions. Man. The Soviet Union had already suffered economic collapse through similar space focus. Wow. Alright, that's an early collapse. Many in Washington and the Pentagon found further spending on the space program unpopular, giving rise to a wave of politicians, many of whom had also successfully prevented US involvement in Vietnam. Wow, we weren't in Vietnam even. Yeah, no Fox News, no shit. It focused on solving problems at home. No Fox News, no Roger Stone, no uh, Roger Ailes, no freaking Paul Manafort. All these fuckers would have just been regular old rich assholes. Instead of politically powerful rich assholes. Ooh, look out for that. No EPA. <laughs> Damn! We need Nixon back, baby. Huh? Clean spirit? Like mineral spirits? Some, like a cleaning solution? Is that what spilled on the floor? Asteroid fragment. Well, I'm definitely taking that. I gotta clear up some space. Spies. Hmm. Drink. When you find an asteroid fragment, drink. That's the drinking game we're playing here in space. Phantom breathing. Phantom breathing. I heard phantom breathing. Oh, the pistol silence. That's nice. Hmm. Oh! Why are we... Why, why are we looking at that? We're looking at a body floating out there. 
I also doubt JFK would have prevented Vietnam. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, there's some, uh, some politicians like, oh, if JFK would have survived, we never would have gone to Vietnam. And, uh, an author that I like, Andrew Basevich, who's, he's kind of, he's, he's, I guess he's a moderate. He leans a little conservative, but he's very anti-Republican. Anti, uh, you know, kind of neocon, I guess. He was, he was a writer. His his writing was uh, predominantly concerned with like anti-Bush in the early 2000s, mid 2000s. Anyway, um, uh, 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 anyway, he he relays somebody saying like, "Oh yeah, if, if Kennedy would have lived, he would have kept us out of Vietnam." And somebody else said, "You know, it's pretty to think so, but probably not true." What the fuck was that phantom? I heard the damn thing breathing. Yes, any main, well, maybe not any mainstream news source, but I'm certainly not going to trust. Fuck, where is it? The hell just happened? What is happening here? Oh. That's... A corrupted thingamajig. Droid, whatever it's called. I guess I probably trust specific writers more than I do any one news agency. Like, I don't like the New York Times, for example. I think New York Times sucks balls. At least its editorial division does. Um, but there are people who write for the New York Times that I would read and trust roughly. Like uh, Paul Krugman, for example, somebody that I mainly trust. I'm probably not going to take everything he says for granted, but I feel like he's got his head screwed on right when it comes to economics and shit like that. I don't know where this fucking phantom is. I know there's a droid over there. I'm going to call them droids. Operator, whatever the hell it is. Um. Oh, shit. Dead body. How do I... Uh-oh. I want to take that without taking... Is the, is the explosions, that's got to be the, what, the outgassing, the, the hull breaches? Hmm. Grug days, huh? Why would I need to take another wrench? Probably hull breaches. Okay. No. Neolithic Revolution was fine. It was the damn... Uh, agriculture. <laughs> agriculture is what ruined us. I don't want to take that. I wish there was a way that you could just mouse over. I want to take that. Oh, maybe I'll just eat it. I can't just... I'm pressing, like, left and right... And right click doesn't do it. Hmm. Let's just stay sneaky right now. Oh, I don't know if I can read this while sneaky. Um, Hope Ellis. You're my only hope from Nikki Tanner. Hey, I sent... Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a bottle of old Sardar. Join us. Demo delay from Franklin Good. Hope, just a heads up that the RTAX propulsion system demo will have to be delayed. We're still working on a slight calibration issue in the machine shop, but it's nothing to worry about, frankly. Scotch tape dispenser, that's cool. 
Well, gang, it's the top of the hour. We're due to wrap it up here. Um, I, don't, I think I'm at a good stopping point, probably. If we go any further, we're going to have to fight some enemies, which probably means I'm going to get killed, which probably means I'm going to have to rethink how I'm approaching, and it's going to take a while for me to strategize and all that stuff. Uh, it was absolutely my pleasure, Tanum. Thanks very much for uh, hanging in there. It did go by fast for me as well, Walter. Yeah, We did start a few minutes late, though, so maybe that's why it feels a little bit later. Um, I really like this game. It startles the bejesus out of me a lot of times, but the uh, world building and exploration and uh, the backstory and everything is very interesting. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much, Walter. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me this evening. It's always good to have the regular crew here. You guys are always tons of fun. Um, and I hope that you can join me next week. I'm uh, not sure what the work situation is going to be like going forward. Not that I'm at risk of being furloughed again or anything, but you never know. I don't know. Case numbers keep going up. I imagine it's only a matter of time until... Minnesota, or maybe the nation as a whole, has to like just shut everything down again. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but to stay tuned. I'll keep streaming every Thursday, and then if time permits, maybe I can squeeze in other ones here and there. I say that all the time, and I never do it. But yeah, thank you very much. I uh, hope everyone has a great week ahead, like Walter said, and I will see you guys uh, next week. I hope.